Um, our film, uh, Trico Jr., is essentially a uh, story of uh, two quite different people um, come together. One who's uh, quite uh, optimistic, um, the guy who has nothing, who kind of uh, makes do with it and kind of gets on with things, and another guy who's more kind of privileged, kind of middle class, kind of um, background, who walks out and his family just disappears into London. These people come together. It, it's um, essentially, I think the film that Jamie wanted to make at the start was something about uh, someone who's wildly optimistic in, f in the face of, uh, you know, uh, not insurmountable odds, but that has the odds stacked against them in life. At the time, when I, before I wrote it, I, was, I felt a little bit like I just was really desperate to see the most optimistic character in the movie I could possibly imagine. And, and then I sort of sat down and started writing it, and at which point Happy Go Lucky came out. And I kind of thought, oh, that's kind of, it felt like, oh, should I, it was a bit sort of similar idea, and then I thought, oh, you know what, this, this film is different. So I kind of continued. But I felt, obviously Mike Leard felt something similar, you know, it was, it was just this, I felt that at the point in time, and a lot was going around me, I just had this urge to see the most optimistic character I could possibly imagine, but didn't have good reason to be necessarily. I just, I felt, I think I felt I needed that in my life too, this character in my life. I would say we were definitely both keen to get back to uh, a kind of working situation like um, the one we met on, which was Jamie's first film, The Lowdown. I know that just before doing this, you spent a number of years uh, working on a film adaptation of uh, this Patricia Highsmith uh, novel, Cry the Owl. I had spent, I've been doing all kinds of things, but I'd spent kind of the previous year kind of, you know, in and out of like cop dramas and stuff, stuff that I kind of never really set out to do, really, you know, in the first place. And I was definitely quite keen to get back to, um, you know, Kind of place it was with Jamie, you know, ten years ago, which is not top dramas. And it's not, you know, I mean, he's done some good on yeah, or whatever. But <laughs> done one um, at least. We, um, we're fighting for it to get distribution, and um, we want it to be seen, uh, you know, in the cinemas. Um, and we feel it deserves to be in the cinemas. It, it's a good film, and, um, it's, and it's very tough to. to, to to, to get to make sure that that happens, you know, we might we're thinking of doing it independently, um, but, um, but any festival that supports it is, is, is great. I mean, it's just in, and, 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 the, and the audiences have been seeing it has been so sort of enthusiastic. About it's a quite it's a it's a, it's a left field film. You know what I mean? And it's a good it plays well in front of audiences. You know, if there's a group of people watching it, it seems to work. If you're watching at home, I think it's a different thing. Well, yeah, it's, 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 I think it's quite dependent on. Uh, uh, I mean, it's the only place it's going to play in front of audiences at the moment at this stage, and it's, you know, in the process is in, at festivals. So it's totally important. Uh, I just really want people to see just how great he is in it because it's fantastic. And he got, you know, he got this Biffa nomination for best actor, and he was up against Colin Firth for it. You know, so. This is a film that we made for 30 grand, remortgaged a house for, and we were the only film up in that category that didn't have distribution at the time. And we think that's a massive achievement. We just want to keep going and sort of spread the word, just, just how good this film is. You know.